I experienced racism in my own family and in the community where I grew up. I grew up in Garson, which is a small town just outside of Sudbury. My family is a mixed race family. There are five of us who are Indigenous and three who are not. My father is a First Nations man and my mother is of settler descent. And my mother <clears throat> had three children with a non-Indigenous person. Growing up in my home, the non-Indigenous siblings that we had were closer in age to me uh, and they were older. And I have clear memories of one of my sisters calling me a wagon burner and a squaw regularly. And in, my, in the schoolyard and in the community, I recall hearing people calling me those same names. I felt very ashamed because I didn't understand why people were calling me these names. And they said it with such hatred in their voices. And um, it hurt, you know, and I recall this, this was probably between the ages of five and 12 that I remember hearing this repeatedly in my home and school and on the streets around my home. And I don't believe any child should live with that and should be forced to feel shame about their heritage. The irony is that when I was 12, I moved to a First Nation in Northern Ontario and the children and the students on that in that community actually called me white. So I had experienced another form of racism where the community members there and particularly the young people felt that I didn't belong there. I was paler in skin than they were. I talked differently than they did. So they saw me as being white. And it was really confusing as a teenager because I felt like I didn't belong in the town where I grew up because people were, call were using racial slurs against me and calling me the squaw and the wagon burner and using Indian as a way to um, denigrate me. But also the people, the youth in the First Nation where I lived through high school they also felt that, uh, expressed the fact that I was white and using hatred in their language when they were calling me names. And I just didn't feel like I belonged. It wasn't until I went to college and met a wonderful group of, of Indigenous people who were from different backgrounds and different communities where I really felt a sense of welcome and belonging to a group of people who had similar backgrounds and experiences that I had. 